Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do arthroscopic knot tying. Uh, we'll go through the whole process of putting in an anchor plus a suture. So I'm going to use one of these screw tight anchor. I, uh, if you look at this dome here, it's a rotator cuff. So this is the posterior portal, the lateral portal, the anterior portal, and the superior portal. So I'm putting in the anchor through a superior portal, for example. Okay. Suture off. Now I'm going to transfer the suture from the superior portal to the lateral portal using a crochet hook. Uh, to get that, I put a little bit of tension, drag it out. Okay, I take one limb of the suture and pass it through the loop of the suture passer. Just capture a tiny bit, maybe uh, five millimeter or so. Then I use a grasper to one of the posterior portal or the anterior portal. In this case, I use a posterior portal. Pass it through the cuff. Release that and then use the grasper to grab the suture. So that is through the rotator cuff. And I want to bring the suture back out to the lateral portal with a crochet hook. Then I load the suture through the nut pusher. I'm using uh, a loop here to transfer that suture through the tip of the Not pusher. Okay. Now, this is in general called the post limb. Okay. What I do is I take a snap, I snap it on one end of it. This is just to act as a weight. Okay. Now, I want you to watch this uh, carefully. So, I'm going to put a, do a half hitch. Just gonna pull this through here. Okay, so I take my index finger, push it up, then I go around the post limb, use the back of my finger, then pull it through. Okay, I'll show it to you again. Use the index finger, I grab the what I call the wrapping limb with my thumb and middle finger, the index finger push up, loop around the pose, and then flip it with the back of the finger, and then back out, and then pull through. So what I have is a half hitch. So I'm using the weight of the uh, snap, and uh, this is like a trigger. Like a trigger, and I push that half hitch into the joint. Now, if you want to get a good grip of the suture, you can wrap your finger around that to give you extra friction to get a, a tighter grip. Pull that out. I repeat the same thing. So, thumb and middle finger on the suture and the index finger, pushing the wrapping limb up, loop it around the pulse, use the back of the index finger, flip it through, and then there you go. Loop it around and then tighten that 
So you can do this in rap rapid succession. Okay. So one more. Now, the, this is a little refinement. I put a loop here. So in, once I get into the joint, instead of pushing it, I can actually pull this post backward and that will flip the knot. And then I would advance that. So that would be the half hitch is flipped on the opposite side. Then <coughs> so that is called a rehearsed half hitch on the post. Okay, there you go. I'm now going to show you another way of passing suture through the rotator cuff. Previously, what we have done is to take the braided suture through the loop of the monofilament and capture it on the tip of the suture passer and push it through the rotator cuff. We can also take a monofilament, a single limb of the monofilament. And I'm just going to pull this out right now. Okay. One single limb. and then pass this through the rotator cuff and use this as a suture shuttle to shuttle the braided suture across the rotator cuff. So what you do is that you retract this all the way into the needle. Pass the needle through the cuff, which I'm doing now. Then I expose the monofilament, use a grasper, pull it through, through the posterior portal, remove the suture passer. This is what I do next. I tie a simple knot, nothing complicated, just a loop like that. Then I take one end of the monofilament, uh, I mean the braided suture, through the loop, and tighten that. All I have to do is to grab both limbs and then I pull it through the rotator cuff and this will go through the cuff and then comes out to the other side. So now you have a braided suture through the rotator cuff and if you need to tie a knot you can of course use a retriever and then pull it out through the lateral portal. And then you can tie a knot in the usual fashion. And most suture that are used arthroscopically comes in different color so that you can dif distinguish between the different limbs. Thank you.